Good morning, friends. Um, it is it is still morning. Uh, it's a little bit into the day now. Got finished some breakfast, some cleanup at the house. Going to get some things done today. I'm going to take you guys along with me for that. I am right now delivering eggs, you guys. I don't know why I have not done this sooner. I've had so many, I'm sure you've seen in my videos throughout like spring and early summer, so many eggs, more eggs than, I mean like we've used them, we've water glass them. We're gonna cut down how many chickens we had. I'm like, you know what, with the cost of feed right now being absolutely crazy, maybe it's a good idea that I just sell them. <laughs> So I'm like, light bulb, a little delayed because now my girls are slowing down. My older ones are molting and uh, the ones that we incubated and the newer ones we got back in June, or was it May? I don't know, but they're all now laying. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna sell some eggs and um, kind of make this a little bit more worth my while. So I guess it's like a hobby farm when you have the animals, but you don't have to make an income off of them. Um, I don't know, maybe that's what we'd be considered right now. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I am going to make an egg delivery. Sorry for all the bumps. We have terrible washboards on our road and they're horrible. Anyway, so I am going to get this egg delivery done real quick and then take you guys along for the rest of the day. Okay, the egg sale went great, sweet lady. I actually know her from our area, so we were talking for quite a while. I need to get back home. Um, I am going to surprise Mike with some coffee right now. I don't know where he's working. I'm gonna have to call him after this. This place is a madhouse, you guys. Part of being in a tourist town, like it might take me a long time to get to him and find him, but I'm gonna surprise him. And um, there is a sweet, couple behind me and I think I'm going to surprise them too and get their order for them. Um, so anyway, I love doing stuff like that. I just, I think, I think people need to do that more. It brings such a smile to people's faces. But anyway, as soon as I do that, I dart out of the place. I'm like, nope, don't want you to see me. <laughs> um, but anyway, so we're going to get some coffee, run coffee to Mike. I got him a slice of lemon bread too. And then get back home and see what is going on and what all needs to be done today. It is getting close to lunchtime. Hey, how are you? Um, can I get the order behind me as well? Sure. Okay. Just a receipt for mine. Got it. Um, is that receipt? Thank you. Alright. Uh, the next car is going to be 1152. Okay. Yeah. Alright, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. the guy who let me go with his truck my friend's husband that lives down the road he's also on the fire department um anyway he let me go because it is a cluster i i'm going to show you the traffic yep it's a cluster traffic all the way up they had some kind of festival thing here um in our town i don't know what but um they uh yeah They've been slammed on these streets, so much so that we didn't even fill our SCBA tanks at the fire department yesterday because <laughs> the traffic was just so bad. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get through here, call Mike, find him, see where he's at, and uh, yeah, I know he's somewhere here. He has multiple jobs going on right now, so um, I'm going to go find him amongst all this chaos, and uh, I don't know. I'll get back on here, I think, when I get home.
Okay, I don't even have enough laundry for a full load, let alone a half load. It's a good day. Okay, we have a couple apples left from Azure Standard. So I think I'm actually going to share a recipe with you and we're going to make some apple fritters. Okay, um, I am going to share these ingredients with you. All right, my kids are playing outside. It is super windy outside right now. Um, so I'm doubling this as usual. Um, I will have, oh my goodness, actually, have stuff blown off my deck. I might need to go get that. Um, <laughs> my kids will see it going down the driveway. Anyway, I'm doubling it. I'll have the regular amounts in the description below. Um, this is a half cup measurement. So I just did two cups and you want to do three. So I am doing three cups of all purpose flour. I'm also going to do a half cup of granulated sugar. Actually, I don't have, this is cane sugar, but that'll be fine. I'm gonna get my teaspoon, um, wherever it is, there we go. And then you are going to want to use, if you are doubling it, four teaspoons of baking powder. So there's my four teaspoons and then one teaspoon of salt and three teaspoons of cinnamon. This is, these are so good and they're so simple to make you guys. My daughter actually makes these from time to time. She does I mean, she does an amazing job. She's nine. She's actually turning 10 tomorrow, um, but she makes this. So it's like super simple, guys. Now you're going to take your flour, your sugar, your baking powder, your salt, and your cinnamon and whisk that up until it is all blended together. All right, we ran out of milk. Story of my life. So, um, I got milk powder. Why not use it? I was going to use evaporated milk, but I'm like, you know what? I have milk powder. So I, unfortunately, I don't feel like doing the math. I, I probably could. So to make the smallest amount on the bag is just three and three quarter cups, fresh water and one and one third cup powdered milk. So that is what I am doing. And then I'll have to shove it in the freezer with all the space I have. Um, let's see. Yeah, one and one third cup powdered milk. All right, my boys are being loud and dramatic outside, so don't mind any random screaming you hear. It's windy and yeah. Um, so one and one third cup of powdered milk. This is like <laughs> probably going to overflow. I don't know. Um, oops, my cup got wet here. Okay, so one and can we do it? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking at this now like, um, it's a little close. Let me get it in a bowl. Okay. Now that I picked up my mess a little bit because I surely made one, um, I'm just going to whisk this, add it in the one third cup. So I will have a quart of milk, which I don't need that much, but we'll use it. So I'm going to just whisk this up and then we will continue the recipe. Okay, back to the milk now. I need two thirds cup of milk. So I am going to pour in two thirds cup of milk. And this is why it is important to always have backups and backups for your backups because this would have been a bad day if I didn't have an alternative. Okay, you now will take four eggs and just break them in. I save my shells because 
They go right back to my chickens for their calcium. Three. Four. Okay, had to wash my hands for a second. Um, I am going to use applesauce, um, spiced applesauce that I canned. Um, I'm going to add in six tablespoons of applesauce. Two, three, four, five, six. Um, you can use regular applesauce. My kids really love spice, so that's all I have. It's, I mean, it's apple fritters. If anything, it's just gonna make it taste better. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and peel my four apples. Okay, so I'm just gonna work on peeling these four apples. I did wanna mention, because I forgot to, um, I'm sorry about the close-up <laughs> this morning. I didn't realize my camera was in my, you know, in the, it was in the phone holder in my car and I had it vertical. I did not have it horizontal, and with YouTube, like, you have to have um, your videos horizontal, so it's always, you know, got to be sideways, and it didn't hit me till I uploaded. I started uploading part of that video um, just to get it editing, so while I'm in the middle of cooking these up, I can be editing it, and I saw it, and I'm like, oh, no, <laughs> so in order to make it horizontal, it is like super close up in your face um, because this morning it was from like you know the top of my stomach up to the top of my head and now it's like just my face and I'm like oh that's great um, so don't mind that <laughs> I think I even put it in the text like sorry about the close-up so it happens um, thankfully it hasn't happened for a long time because it's annoying when it does and it's like you're not gonna redo it <laughs> so you're not gonna scrap the video that you started um, you know, that would just delay getting another one out. So we're going to roll with it. Sorry. I'm sure nobody wants to see my face first thing in the morning that close up, but it happens. So I'm going to save these peels for my animals outside and just, um, get these peeled up. to stir the milk and the eggs that you put in here in the applesauce and just mix it only until it's combined so it's a little bit more it, it's thicker it feels a little bit more on the dry side um, and it's supposed to so it's a thick dough I am going to get that last bit on the bottom and then we are going to fold these apples in Okay. 
Okay, so at this point you're going to add about an inch and a half to two inches of oil in a heavy skillet Dutch oven. I have my Dutch oven or you can use a deep fryer and you want to let it reach. I have so much light pouring in. I'm just not going to be able to stop the glares. Um, so it's really hard to film during the day in this house with all the windows, but you're going to want to heat your oil to 375 degrees. And then once it reaches that, I'll bring you back. Now that the dough is, um, now that the oil is 375 degrees, I am just adding about a quarter cup of batter. You don't want to overcrowd it. And I usually do about two minutes per side. Okay, so I doubled my icing because I doubled the amount of fritters. So right here I have four cups of powdered sugar, half a cup of milk, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. To show you guys the inside of them after we eat dinner because I spoiled my appetite. Can you tell I have icing in my hair? <laughs> um, my daughter Faith and me tried one. They're they're one of our favorites and they're really good warm. But um, they're on the rack. They're on the rack right now and the icing is getting set up. But these are so good, um, absolutely delicious. And we love making these in the fall. All right, yeah. and our neighbor just brought Brooke her birthday present because her birthday's tomorrow. All right, let me see. What do you got? Um, eyeshadow, mascara, lipstick. Glasses, nail polish, brushes, and this. <laughs> We're going to have to make her a thank you card, huh? Yeah, and Brooke. these. Oh, awesome. You need to cut the tag off your glasses, okay? We'll make her a thank you card tonight, okay? Okay. Faith, what are you doing sewing? She doesn't want to be in the video. <laughs> Mike is grilling. What are you two doing? What are you playing with? Nerf guns. It's windy out. Oh my goodness. Oh, I need to water my plant. The fire department. Hey. I am the fire department. What you doing? Loading. It's windy.
All right, so we got this new thing. Mike picked it up when we got my car back from the dealer. It needed, um, my idler arm was broke. Don't ask, <laughs> our road sucks. Um, but we've needed one of these side by side. So he still has to work. He was gonna bring the excavator today, but we actually needed water. So he had to bring a tank of water instead. He could honestly only do one or the other. Um, I don't know where this one's coming from. Anyway, he could bring water or the excavator and water was more important because it's below the bracket where it's okay, we need water now. So he already ordered um, the windshield for it, the roof. Oh, it's gonna go out of focus if I point. Um, he ordered the windshield, the roof, um, mirrors, different lights for it. So I think it's like a 2016. Um, but yeah, it's in really good shape. Already rode it a little bit yesterday. Um, but yeah, that is what we got. So we got our side by side and uh, it'll be easier to load feed and straw and you know grass for the animals and everything in this. And then it has the feature where it just dumps it back. Um, but yeah, really good shape. I think there's like hardly any mileage on it whatsoever, hours or however it works. Um, I haven't had one of these before, so but hardly anything on it. So really nice. This is kind of where we just have straw and stuff that actually is supposed to have the tarp on it, but it must have blew off. We temporarily moved our kids four wheelers over here um, out of the trailer but so this was my thought just a quick update so what we were going to do is I'm like Mike why don't we do a greenhouse at the top of the driveway right like this whole area um and then it has like the rock it has a rock behind it I don't even know if you guys can hear me hang on anyway it has a rock behind it to try and protect it oh my goodness from the wind a little bit Boys, it's almost dinner time. It's almost dinner time. Um, anyway, so we were thinking about doing the greenhouse there, but he's like, you know what would make more sense probably is making a feed, a feed shed, I guess you'd call it. Um, a, a big shed he would make to put all the feed in and the straw and stuff to protect it. And then we could just drive this up, load it in, and then run it up the road once he widens it because it like worked great here but it gets super tight back up there near the coop but anyway just projects projects we're trying to get done before you know the snow um there's just rocks everywhere he really needs to still kind of clean this area up but we have so much going on it's like never ending um so anyway <laughs> Okay, let's facing forward. Um, we need to check on the bees up there today because it's been a little while since we checked on them. Boys, get out of that. And um, yeah, so we're going to eat dinner and then I will show you guys those apple fritters. They're amazing. I totally forgot I'm in my kitchen apron and um, out here holding goats and animals. So that's going straight in the wash. Their water actually blew over the chickens outside. Say hello. Say hello. Anyway, just checking on the animals. I don't know that they like uh, like all this wind. <laughs> Can you say hi? Say hello. Are you a book girl? Oh, you I'm such a good snuggler. I'm such a good snuggler. Super cute. Her sister is still super skittish. Um, where we got them from, they said they were handled a lot. I don't know about that, but I don't think they were. So, anyway. This is exactly why I just had my daughter bring me my goat sloggers. This is why you don't wear sandals on this kind of terrain. It's super uneven and I just broke my sandal, which is super annoying. Very annoying, but um, yep, slid on the ground where a rock was in the ground. And uh, yeah, just trying to walk down the steepness. So uh, that sucks. 
All right, well, apparently everybody's eating without me. <laughs> my daughter just came out to bring me my goat shoes. And she's like, I'm trying to eat my dinner. And I'm like, oh, no one told me it's dinner time. I bet you everybody's gonna appreciate dessert that I made. Um, so I'm gonna go in and eat with the fam. Okay, the winds are getting absolutely insane outside, but we need to do a taste test of these ourselves um, because my family demolished them. <laughs> and um, they didn't want to be on camera eating. So just to show you, okay, well, I'm kind of breaking it toward me. Hold on. It is like, like a, kind of like a donut. It's really moist. Sorry about that. My dog, my dog was freaking out with the wind out there. Anyway, it is just like, almost like a donut texture. I don't want to close up on my face, but, um, I don't know if you can tell in the lighting, but the flavors are so good. You're going to try these. They're good. They're like almost gone. I have this plate full. I have four left. <laughs> I don't know how many were on the cooling rack, but I have four left. But like, look at that. Chunks of apple, like a donut texture. It's light, it's airy. So good. This is one of our favorite fall recipes that we make when the apples are in season. They're, they're so, so good. Um, also, on a side note, I have a pumpkin cookie that I made in the very beginning. Very, very beginning of the videos that I made on my channel. And um, if you guys can see that, it's got like a nice spice glaze on it. Those are to die for. Those are delicious. So check that out. I'll leave that video in the description down below. Don't mind. It was in my early earlier videos. I know I look back progressing. We're progressing here. Okay. Um, <laughs> but anyway, four left. So you might want to double these if you know, it's, you know, if you have a couple kids, you, you probably want to double these, um, unless you're good with just having one, but yeah, four left made a pretty good batch, um, for doubling it, but they're, they're gone almost. <laughs> They'll be gone probably by tonight. But anyway, um, it's getting close to dusk. I need to, my girls are putting the ducks and the chickens and all, all the animals away right now for the night. The ducks are freaking out with the wind. Um, so they're all getting. All right, guys, it is, oh my gosh, I need to try and get up there. So anyway, I only have 14% battery on my camera. I'm going to try and save it, but, um, I am literally going to get blown away over here. All right. All right, he is going up before me. It's gonna be a minute before I get up there. Whew. No, go ahead. I'm almost there. <laughs> I'm a little winded, and it's a little windy. All right. Oh, my goodness. Let's see what we're getting into. Let's see how the bees are. All right, so we're gonna see what we're getting into. The one on the right, last time we checked, was doing okay. The one on the left is thriving a lot. Um, so he's gonna get the smoker ready and uh, we're gonna see how they're doing. All right, he has the smoker ready. Almost. I'm trying to change the... Uh, camera with a gloved hand. There shouldn't be a lot of activity with the wind. I'm recording now. They need sugar water. They need sugar water? They're completely out? Yep. Sugar oh, water yeah. solidified. 
Uh oh. All right. Well, they have food sources in the yard, and there's a pond kind of across the street. So he's gonna open this up. Oh yeah. And we're gonna take a Wait peek. Wait till you see this. Look at this. You see them all in here? Yeah, I do. Oh my goodness. There's so many. I can't zoom in. I don't want my battery to die. I'm so low. <clears throat> They're all up in that. This one might be ready for another stack. Netting. Yeah. So can we extract this here? I mean, if we fill another super, yeah. Okay, well, fall's coming. We need a, oh yeah, they sealed that good. All right. We absolutely should have done this sooner. Oh my Lanta. <laughs> um, is it's that good dripping. or bad? Well, it's they need dripping another stack. with it's, honey. It's All right, can dripping. you get the, can we do the sack right now get, since we're up get here? Get the video underneath. All right, I look well, underneath this feeder. Uh oh, is that bad if they do oh, that? I mean, no, they just built comb through all their stuff. Now oh, they're up. It's on your head. It's okay. Oh Watch my out. goodness. Well, that's exciting. They're doing good. Now we yeah. need to see the other ones. Are you, you tell me you're getting the box now while we're already up here. up here? Oh, it is? Sweet. Otherwise, it's a very long walk all the way back down. Huh. I know, I ain't doing it. I know. Yeah, it's not that easy. All right. Well, so do I do sugar water tomorrow? I'm oh, guessing tonight. Tonight, like Where now. Do you have it mixed? No, I don't have it mixed. <gasps> Look at them all. Oh my goodness, you busy bees! Look, Look at them all. Oh, that's not good. They killed it. No, yuck! Does that mean our honey's contaminated, Mike? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Ew. Yeah, that's a lot. That's incredible. I hate mice. That's a lot of activity. Look, see all these sealed? Yeah. Look over here. Look on. Every one of what? The white, pure white is that sealed. That you scrape honey. off? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that makes me feel a little bit better. And that one's full. Okay. So, so it was only on the top one, not. Okay. Correct. So in this case, because they've already created comb all up in here, this is the honey right in here. Okay. I and mean, you can try and eat this cool. All right. We have frames that are blowing away. Where's our smoker? Okay, we need that not to blow away. Lots of activities. For the fact that it's so late in the day, I guess I need to get busy on some sugar water. These guys are busy, that's for sure. All right, so this one, is it doing good if they still have sugar water? I mean. It's a smaller colony. Yeah, it is um, a smaller colony. Watch out, where's my tool? What does that smell? The sugar water. Are you sure? Moldy. All right, guess we have some mold on the lid, which is weird. Seems out. Yeah, that's not good. These ones have done nothing since we put them in. I take that back. If there's anything on anything plastic, that's what they've done. I am they recording. Came with yeah, these wood frames. they have. So, so this was this okay. This one is full. We're good. Okay. Why is there mold on that? Because That's you have not... sugar water out in the heat. Yeah, but the other one's not molded. Yes, it was. It was? Uh, I need to look that up. Be checking all the frames. There's a lot of comb there. Where? Oh, the whole thing. Oh. This is all new comb that they've expanded out. That one's all full of honey. This one's just super slow. The other one's really good. Okay. I don't see any spots on the bees. They look really healthy. But you see how they're feeling. What about all of the those? cells? The cells look perfectly shaped. Okay, good. Nothing out of the ordinary. No foul brood. Okay, let's check Which the other the one. Which is the main thing. Right, and varroa mite. Especially going into fall, we were told to just keep an eye out for varroa mite, but we haven't been lifting every single frame on checks either, which is why I'm kind of wanting to get a good look on those. Make sure everything looks normal and healthy. Looks excellent. Look at that. Why is it orange? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, look healthy. I don't see anything. I, oh, I have a bee on my ungloved hand. I don't know what that means. Actually, take a picture of that if you can. I, I will. Because these are colored with gray and white. Okay. The other one was pure white. And this is all orange. Okay, I see Very that. Very interesting. Yeah, I don't, what's the other side look like? Is that mold on the comb or comb? No. I can't see through this netted thing. This side's got not okay. much. Good, okay. We should look in the middle. Middle. I'm working my way that way. I know. Okay. Wow. 
That's not the middle one either, is this it? This is one of the middle ones. Is it? This is one of the ones that they came on. I mean, the comb here is all filled. I don't understand the orange. I don't either. Larvae in there. You can wear. See the white ones in the middle? I can't move my hand to get to it. Oh, I do see them, and they look healthy, not chewed up. Correct. Right. I mean, from what I can see. Okay. Well, she's doing what she's supposed to be doing, but yeah, that color is um weird. No, I don't know. I don't know what that means. <sighs> I'm gonna go down the rabbit hole of Google tonight. Okay, so by the looks of it, the bees are doing great. The ones on the left especially are doing phenomenal. They're thriving. I need to look up the orange honeycomb. I wonder if it's like a certain flower that they're getting into or something. Um, it was an orange last time I checked. So, you know, we're, this is, this is, um, you know, learn as we go type thing. So, um, I'm going to look a little bit into that, but otherwise they look great. They look healthy. No sign of Varroa mite, which is one of the things that kills honeybees over the winter. They usually get it in the fall and people miss it and then it kills them off. Um, so anyway, it is getting dark. I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, it's been a pretty busy day on the go. I didn't film every single thing, but we've been busy. And now you guys know how to make some amazing apple fritters. And I hope you guys do give it a try. If you do, leave it down in the comments below um, and let me know what you think. So anyway, other than that, I think I will catch you guys on the next video. Don't forget before you leave to go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and you enjoy videos like this. And if you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. Um, I definitely hope to grow this channel and I'm working on it as best as I can. Right now consistency is really, really difficult um, for the season of life that I'm in. But um, I do plan to get videos out more regularly. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one.